Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for May 10th, 2016. So, the Moon is in Cancer today, a very nostalgic and sensitive place for the Moon to be. And it's trining Neptune at around 1500 hours Central European Time, that's 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That trine is really a positive influence on the Moon because we are less demanding and we have more of this laid-back attitude and that's good we can be more in our fantasy world today than on reality and we maybe we need to watch that but there's a sex side to Venus at the same time so who cares we're just enjoying ourselves, and that is great but from the evening time in Europe and noon time in America the day becomes much less stable and much more volatile First of all, there's a Queen Kong to Saturn at around 2000 hours Central European time. That's around 1400 hours Eastern Standard Time. And we can feel those transits a couple of hours before. That's a time that we're dealing with issues of um, not getting enough support or not having enough self-confidence or self-worth or wanting to leave some of our responsibilities behind. And then, a little later on, at around 2300 hours, Central European time, that's around um, 1700 hours Eastern Standard Time, there's an opposition to Pluto and that's the major transit of the day and that's a time of drama and that's a time that we need to remember to distance ourselves from the emotional situation like it's a recurring thing during the last few days and really give up power struggles today, don't get in them, don't get in them, be more facilitating and be more mature about things. The sun is trining the north node, that's a good thing, that's a positive time to just get ahead with what you need to do, regardless of the situation uh, on the outside. I mean, be practical and be logical about it, but if somebody's caught up in an emotional drama, it doesn't mean that you should too. You should just go on and do whatever is important in your life right now. Mercury is in Kazemi today as well. That's a very important time in which we can envision our life in the future. We can reach all kinds of conclusions and understandings that will shape the way we navigate our life in the future. And Venus is sextiling Neptune. It's a romantic time for relationships. Just don't be too utopistic. And Jupiter is finally moving forward, trining Venus. What could be more harmonious uh, than that? for a benevolent and expansive uh, experience provided to you by Jupiter in the sky for the next few days. So, thank you for listening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.